to another short and sweet where the reviews are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. It's really sweet that our Patreon community... Uh, they continuously share with us every yeah, month and they, so that we can get bottles like this and review them for you. They basically sponsored our hunting video in Bardstown, which is where we found the bottle. Technically not Bardstown, it's Claremont. Claremont, so just outside just of Bardstown. Just outside, but we... It, the Bardstown area. If you go to Bardstown, you're going to Four Roses and you're gonna go to Jim Beam, so we just, it just kind of gets lumped in. It's pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Oh, wait. Is it a... Is it a okay, cork? it is. Wow. It's really in there. Oh. <laughs> All right. So we picked this up for 43. Um, it's listed, the SRP is listed at 40. So we have paid a couple extra bucks, but... So this is what's called a Mongahalia. Mongahalia? I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. Rye, which just references this... <clears throat> Take two. Uh, which just references the style of the rye. So it's an 80% rye, 20% malted barley. Are you done with the theater over here? <laughs> the dramatics? I feel like you should become a mime now. <laughs> it's in a box. Yeah, I, I saw that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that was a, a style that was popularized in like a valley in Pennsylvania, the Mongahalia Valley. The valley, no and way. They would. Oh my God, the valley. Source water from the Mongahelia River. I'm sure I'm saying this wrong, but who knows? Mongahelia, not sure. Gag made um, with a spoon. Oh my god, okay. Continue. No, I'm done. <laughs> so Mongahelia, Mongahelia. Not sure. Is a style, yeah, as you said. 80-20. And um, yeah, four-year-old, I don't know if you said Yeah, four, four years, years old. Yeah. Um, what's the proof, 90? 95 proof. So here we go. Ooh. It smells really like candied and sweet for something that's 80% rye. Right, yeah. And I'm not, again, 80% rye, I'm not getting like a ton of baking spice. Mm -mm, me either. Could be the four year old, you know, age statement, but we found that rye tends to mature a little faster than it takes bourbon to mature. I mean, if anything, maybe rye bread, because there is sort of a bread. Um, There's a little bit of a bready quality. Bready yeah. quality. Mm -hmm. yeah. Doughy. Yeah, doughy. I could see that. I could see a rye bread. Rye bread. Marble rye. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. D health. There's the rye. There it is. Okay. It was hiding. <laughs> it's on the palate. Mmm. There's a lot happening. I'm a little perplexed by this one. Like, a lot happened just now, and it was a little bit more unique than what I'm used to. I like it but I can't exactly put my finger on what, what it is that I like. So I'm gonna go back in for a second sip. Yeah, I think it's I, It's an immediate second an sip. An immediate second sip. Even though I'm getting like a nice warmth from it, a nice hug, and I'm still tasting it on the finish, but that whole experience was, a, I just need another take, again, another take two. I think it has a nice texture. There's dry baking spice on the finish. It does start out a little sweeter. Up front. A ripe fruit up front. A little I bit. I kind of feel like a mango uh, bordering tropical, but not quite. Like it it, it flirts with it, but then the ryeness, the sort of effervescent, sort of pine needle forest brings it <laughs> away from that. But in the very beginning, I'm almost like I this see is that. a little tropical. Almost like, um, you know, I think this would be good in like a tiki drink or oh, something. Oh, 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 you know, oh, it has that say. like, yeah, like you said, that certain mis mystery tropical fruit and then also dry baking spice, and I feel like it would lend itself well to a tiki style drink. And at 95 proof and 40 bucks for the bottle, not, you know, unheard of to be put in a cocktail. No, that's cocktail that could be fun. price worthy for us. But uh, I also like it neat. I'm enjoying it. It's very Yeah, for warm. sure. And maybe it's the Mongahalian uh, name that we're like, oh, tiki, tropical. No, <laughs> I don't think, I mean, not for me. Yes, yeah, Pennsylvania really makes me think tiki and tropical, right? Mele kiliki maka. Um, so let's take- That's a, Hawaiian. I know, that's tropical. That's I, where I was going in my head, see? Mm -hmm. I made the connection. Mm -hmm. but, but before we go in for that third sip, now that we're finally starting to figure this guy out, we wanna hit pause. Tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the t-shirt and the sweater that you're wearing, Sarah. Sweatshirt. Sweatshirt. There we go. Uh, appropriately rye whiskey. Mm -hmm. I am wearing green of rye, at, at least. But also hat uh, the Glencairns we're drinking from. In fact, all of our glassware is there, along with our Elemental Elixir cocktail syrup. And more that's always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash itsbourbonite and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And that one buck helps us get bottles like this so that we can tell you about them and maybe help you decide on whether or not to spend 40 bucks. Helps on us this go bourbon ride. hunting. It does help us uh, <laughs> go bourbon hunting. It also, in return, you get um, access to our barrel picks after the episode exclusive content and more. There you go. 
This is a nice fall simper. It's it's a lot of baking spice. If it was, you know, peak heat of July and August. Peak heat. Peak heat, I don't think that I could sip this. It's so warm, like for 95 proof, just that heaviness of that rye, it like really warms you up here. So I don't think I could handle that when it's, you know, 95, 100 degrees outside, but. Yeah, because it's 95 in here already. Right, already. Proof, um, proof that is. Yeah, I'm like, ooh, it's warm in the sweatshirt. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And I, I gotta say, like, this is a, a more unique tasting rye, I almost, like with the name Manga Helian Mash, like, oh, it's a, there's some type of barrel called Manga Helian and it's finished. That's what I thought too. But it's not. It's just the 80 the 20 percentage uh, rye to uh, malted barley. I guess it's the style. I guess, you know, they have like Maryland rye, Maryland style rye. Yeah. It's kind of similar, I guess. But I gotta say, you know, normally when we're drinking rye, it's either 95.5, so 95% rye, 5% malted barley. Or barely or legal. It's barely legal and it's actually got a lot of corn. It's 51%. Mm -hmm. Rye and then usually like 35% mm -hmm. corn. This has no corn in it. No corn. So the higher amount of malted barley is probably what's making this taste so unique to us because I think so. it's not a style that maybe we've ever had before. Not in super familiar with, no. And I love malted barley, so I'm really enjoying this. Yeah, I'm gonna, I like this a lot. I this mean, I know, is, I know uh, this is a short and sweet, and so we don't really do recommend or not, but like. We can throw I, it in if we want. I would buy a bottle of this for fall. I think it's, if, if you're well. open to rise, then yes, or like higher percentage rise. It just became an uncorking. It's not super, what's the word, herbal? I don't think I don't get a lot of herbal on it. I just But get, there's enough. There's a little bit, but I get more of the spice than I do like pine needles or well, eucalyptus or anything like that. In a way I do in the earthy notes that this has on the finish. Sort of forest, but not up with the pine, it's down with the earth, you know? It's like an earthiness that I'm getting on, on the finish. So yeah, not the not the pine effervescence uh, ryeness. Yeah, but so if you're smelly. open to rye, I think uh, it's definitely worth giving it a try. And if you're not a rye fan, it is a little bit more unique mm. than your average rye, so also still maybe worth giving it a try. Again, I think it would work great in a cocktail as right. well. So we'll have to try that. I think it might be a nice utility bottle to have around. Agreed. Well, hey, that's where we better leave it. If you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here, and we hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, Patreon. Until next time, drink more rye.